without what y'all mothers. think mothers do y'all think that I should be able to go to her party Saturday and pop a lock and drop they just scared him to show him out welcome to Cindy's Chronicles <laughs> boom ha <laughs> ha boom ha <laughs> ha <laughs> I told Corbin to sit in the middle because she's so tiny. And I feel, but like, I feel like I'm not the star of the show now. Come on, Corbin. Okay. Oh, Lord, this lady is crazy. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I'm not the star of the show now. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. You know, but I'm definitely like, like the fat person of the. Uh, not oh, fat. No, say that. the thicker person. Yeah. Like, we go in size. You, then me. The older person. Me. Yeah. Uh, not, well, I didn't say A that. little older. Oh, shoot, we ain't got no sauce. We're oh, gosh, I'm gonna eat tacos without no sauce. Let's just eat them. Let's pray. Come on. Father God, we thank you for this food. We thank you for blessing it. We like thank you for allowing us to come together. And thank you for allowing this food to nourish our bodies. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. 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 Y'all, these things are so cold. These are so cold. We should have put them in the uh, microwave. Like, put all of them at the same time in the microwave. What you think? Y'all want to do it? The hard ones? Yeah. You like hard too? Oh, you want. I can eat it. It yeah. tastes pretty good. They warm. I think. Do it look like it can, we all fitting in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got extra space. Mm -hmm. I'm. I my knee hurt just a little bit because on my birthday, I was walking down the stairs at the casino, <clears throat> and I tripped over like three stairs and fell on my knees. Did you have heels on? I had just took my heels off <laughs> the whole night. Literally, I walked in heels. Let me show you. Oh I'm gonna God. show y'all too. I think that's the worst part. Come on. Well, you know, um. I know we that. All right. No, I feel like yeah, worst, just eat whatever you want. Yeah, I just feel eat whatever like you want. Eat, the worst part is when you feel with heels on. Right. I did you not can hurt heels. your ankle and I don't know. I literally fell on my knees. My friend said I looked like James Brown. Who's drunk? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> of course I was drunk. But I literally walked all night in heels just to fall when I did not have on heels. Mm-mm. I never felt. Yeah, ever fall on heels? I, I almost did. Probably. But then. Uh, maybe at the. Uh, when? Did you fall for my birthday? Oh. No. You I slipped, but oh. I didn't really fall for. Oh. Robin yeah, fell a lot of times. I'm that like almost bad. famous. Look, watch this. Look how Sparkle dressed. She thought she was on. Oh, shut up. Yeah. But listen at Alexis guy. <laughs> Full of that. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, I have some guests today. I have Carmen from Carmen and Corey. Hi. Yeah, girl. And that's all her real hair. Look at that. Oh, it's girl, growing. it's so long. It's, it's, my real it's really growing. <laughs> Nick hair. Have you seen Nick hair real hair? Yeah, oh, she never had it. No, it's literally down her, the like the middle of her back. Her hair. Ask her how many times I told her to wear her real hair. Yeah, like when she got her hair flying in a ponytail, it looks so weird to me. I don't know why. Oh, it looks like oh, I remember, I missed that. Like oh, I got healthy little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got that no more. Y'all, we have tacos today. We got some hard tacos, soft tacos, some nachos and cheese, and they got the quesadillas. You know the quesadillas. Oh. You can have them. I'm not gonna ask you. You put me on yes. these when we was pregnant. Oh yeah, that's yeah. around the time my page I got. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, we're here. What's your page? I got here in case y'all. He ordered. She ordered them when it was in our first house, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What is that?" And I tried it, and I said, "And it was oh, good. Yeah. It was they, good. They, 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 they yeah. way better when they fresh though, so I don't even want to taste them. I'm scared to taste somebody cold. They're warm. Yeah, because we ordered the food and then we was just sitting here. They're warm. Oh, you like you got a, oh, oh no. You like the You took the worst piece, Carmen. This is the best piece right here. Richie. That don't got nothing on it. We got yeah. here. 
But no, cheese, they got meat, meat on it. Mm. I like cheese. I like, I like cheese hard tacos, tacos, but we don't, don't have like any. cheese. We don't have any hot sauce. And let me tell you, I normally do not eat a taco without hot sauce. Okay, I was the first time for that one. Yeah. You don't eat it today. Mm. Mm. Now, what is this? Mm. They're like dumb that holes with cream inside. But mm. they good. I don't have them. I didn't do this. I didn't do this one day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The taco, all the twelve tacos, and sit here and, okay. and eat them. Yep. I don't know why, but for people, well, to people, it's satisfying watching other people eat. Uh-huh. I love it. I will watch Beloved just sit there and eat. You ever watch her? Mm-hmm. I'll sit there and just watch her eat. Mm. I what if you would do a video her one day? I want to. You should. Well, hopefully, come. I asked Nick to set it up. Maybe she'll do one with Nick again if she do one with me. Yeah. Then, then I could jump in yeah. and be like, she's not Lana. I think so. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, I'm here, so, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Maybe that would be dope. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at that triple conversation. This is your turn. <laughs> I just told you to say something. Y'all say hi to Sydney's Chronicles. Hey, Sydney's Chronicles. Hi, I'm new to this channel. This is my first time in her video. No, I think second time. One I'm time. Star oh, yeah. Show. When you pranked her, you was going to move in or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You was on my... Mm-hmm. And that was because we literally pulled up at the same time. And you, you passed by your future house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the car is like... Yeah. Packed them off. That's crazy, man. I was happy to have you on my video. I was like, who's coming? You look so fun. Yeah. I'm happy. I've been on everybody's video. I've been on everybody's video. This one, Africa Mall. You know her Africa Mall? Oh, yeah. Place? Nikki, buy me one when you go there, please. Oh, no. I, like, I, like I don't know where they're located, but this is a website. Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh. it's like fashion all kind of. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to line it word again. Mm-hmm. You should. You should like it. Um, okay. I have a topic. What's up? No shade to anybody because I love all oh, of this no, no. <laughs> But I had a few people in my comments that thought my daughter was disrespectful. And I found myself going back and forth with <clears> my <throat> subscribers. And I didn't want to do that because I actually really love my subscribers. So, and I love them to pray me. I want to say that... They thought I was disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my daughter is literally... The most respectful young lady ever. It's just it's a a type of relationship that we have, and what may not be respectful to other people may be respectful to me. You know, each household is different. Is different, right? You know, I may see somebody um kick their mama, and I might be like, "What the hell? You ain't gonna kill him?" And they might be like, oh, no, we kick each other all the time. You know, each household is different. She doesn't use profanity. On purpose in front of me. <laughs> I've heard her slip up before. <laughs> um, you know, nobody's perfect. But to me, she's very, very respectful. And I um, enjoy our relationship and the respect that we have for each other. Not just the respect that, I, that she has for me. But she's an adult now. So I respect her. Even as a child, we have to respect children too. Get your up on my face. Thank you, girl. <laughs> um... So there's that. And I know a lot of grown people can relate. This is really good. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll run. I'm a gain 10 pounds with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. It's two different types of people. Hold on. Commercial. It's two different types of people. Person who buy into it, person who stick the whole thing in all. What type of person? I think me and your mom. I thought the whole thing was like, y'all bit half. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and normally, I used, to, I used to stick the whole thing in my mouth. But now I try to, um, when I eat, I try to eat pieces so I won't eat so fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a different type of people. Honestly. Uh-huh. Some people, like, don't care how to eat. Other people, they, like, so careful how to eat and make sure, you know, mm-hmm. like, that type of people right there. <laughs> well, that's how I used to eat, seriously. But I, I know that when you eat a whole bunch at one time, you gain a lot of weight. Because oh. you eat it so fast that, that you, you don't know when you're full. You know, you yeah. don't know when you're full. Maybe yeah. I ate too fast. I ate, but I ate two tacos. You definitely <laughs> ate too bad. That was pretty good, though. So I try to eat slower now. I feel like that. I feel like when you're hungry the most, 
that's when you eat faster and you like you just feel so tired after. Yeah, you, you like you just faster. So cool. So you like, oh my you god. But it take a minute to kick in. Yeah. Because your body don't realize you're full. So mm-hmm. by the time you realize you're full, you've been like really, really I full. I think when you eat like your mouth be full, but not your stomach. I always say that. It sounds weird, but I feel like how it is. Because like literally like minutes after, you be hungry again. So that's how you know, you know, the food didn't go all the way down. Oh look, I got another piece of taco right here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I could take a break and eat again. Yep. I love it. I literally ate before I came. They know. You did. Mm-hmm. That's not really. Late. But Corey cooked some eggs. Mm. Corey, you cooking? What you yeah, doing? Uh, mm-hmm. What you be cooking, Carmen? I'm a lifter. You be cooking? Cook every day. You cook there. chicken and rice. Like oh, American yeah. food. And I don't know how to cook like American food. Wait. So you, wait, is Hispanic food, is that quesadillas? It's more than that. Thank you, quesadillas. Oh, <laughs> it's like what? chicken. You know how y'all like, like to eat like, like, um, fried chicken? Sometimes we like to eat chicken, like grilled chicken. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I like grilled chicken. But do yeah. y'all eat like, oh, I'm just going to eat like, oh, chicken and like flavored rice? Mm-hmm. And I just like, eat with him all the time. And then like steak with rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like sometimes I cook my chicken, but it's like with some red sauce on it. And it's real good. It's like kind of sweet, but spicy. I sometimes. watch one of y'all cooking videos. Y'all was making some type of... Did you learn that cooking good. from your mama? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. Because a lot of my cooking I learned from when I was growing up. So I still cook the same way. Yeah, my mom. You never taught me how to cook. You a liar? I know. Right? <laughs> well, actually, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. I, I really didn't. Neek really wasn't an in-the-kitchen type of person. I mean, I Nick. wasn't either, but my mom, well, like, Hispanic parents, they're, like, very, very strict. So my mom will always tell me, she said, what if you get a husband that don't don't like to eat out and he want a wife to cook for him? Right. He's going to see that look stupid. He's going to leave you. And so he's going to tell me, like, she'll yeah. tell me stuff like that. And she first she started out, to learn uh, how to make eggs, then rice, then like go to uh, meals, meals. So she, yeah, I owned it to her. Oh, oh that's so sweet. Yeah. No, do I really? Do I ever? <laughs> I don't think I ever told her to cook anything. When I asked, but yeah, when she called me, now when she grown, and she be like, "Mama, I yeah, seriously didn't know. I didn't know she was gonna grow up that fast." Yeah. She went straight from. Um, when she was in school, she had dance, she had cheerleading practice, she had dance practice, she had, um, like, she was always into a whole bunch of stuff all the way through high school. Um, she had dance competitions, um, she was just busy. She was so busy. Everybody. And then next thing you know, she went off to college and then she went off to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> And then next thing you know, she had a baby and she was calling me like, Mama, how to make this? So she never really was in the kitchen with me because by the time she came home for practice and stuff, I was already done cooking. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. more so you teaching me now because I'll call and ask like how to make beef stew, how to make mm-hmm. rice yeah. and gravy. Right, right, right. And then she'll only want, like, she preferred my cooking over anybody else's. Yeah. Me too, like, like my favorite plate is like spaghetti. I don't care what kind of spaghetti it is. Really? I don't like have my mom make it. Like, you can cook, you can tell me, oh, I don't know how to make spaghetti real, real good. I, I will eat it, but I know that's not what I like. Because mm-hmm. I like my little uh-huh. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, my favorite really plate is spaghetti. Are oh, you eating spaghetti at Cheddar's? Because y'all love to eat at Cheddar's. Or you eat something else? I eat the, um, uh, what's called chicken alfredo. Um, that's good. That's really good. Mm. Chicken alfredo. Y'all, if y'all already don't know who Carmen is, <laughs> The link to her channel will be in my description, so y'all can go check her out. I know y'all all know her already. <laughs> she's famous. Not yet, she is famous. Oh but I have God. a lot of <laughs> no, a lot of my subscribers are my age. Mm-hmm. You know, not all of them, but majority or yeah, because you know we relate. Mm-hmm. We have children. We have um yeah. You know, so yeah. Believe it or not, when I met my personal channel, I started getting a lot of moms. Mm-hmm. They know I have a baby, right? So mm-hmm. they have like a lot of more mothers in my channel. I'm literally on my third taco. I think we're eating everything in this table. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, talking like, about a lot. Yeah, like as we talking, like we just eating everything out of this table. Everything just keep disappearing. I don't know dessert now. Mm-hmm. So back to 
what I was talking about earlier with the disrespect. Oh, I forgot about that conversation. I know, I know, I know. I just don't want people to. I'm defensive when it comes to my daughter. Mom, my mother, mom, mom, no. That's what? cane sauce. Uh, uh, it looks full. I think it is. Uh. Oh. Hey, you got something in your hand. Where you got that from? Downstairs. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know what kind of sauce was. I was about to eat it, but I could feel it in my throat right now. You sure? You can have that water coming out for that for me, but you can have it right there. Okay, I'll thank you. this with me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I eat it? It looks good. It looks real swell. I'm like, it burnt my throat. Oh. It was on the mm -hmm. counter, so I thought we it was some extra sauce. sauce. No, no, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it looked full. Like she's gonna dip that, dip that in her. Uh, I her think I was. I think that came with the quesadillas, though. No. I didn't know. Come right. Like, oh yeah. 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 Nick, check this out. They're the same exact. That's plain too. Though. That's plain too. This is the only thing that comes with the taco. Mm-hmm. Nick, this is not cane sauce. This came from Taco Bell. It's like a spicy sauce. Oh, it must be the dipping or something. Yeah, it was the dipping for the quesadilla because mm -hmm. it was in the box of quesadilla smell. Mm. No, it didn't come in that. I know for sure it didn't come in that. It yeah. did. No. How much you want to bet? We don't come in that. Mm -hmm. Let's bet. Come on, let's make a bet. All right, let's make. How how we gonna bet? Bet come. How 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 we gonna bet? How we gonna bet? <laughs> <laughs> um, this looks like cane sauce. We ate okay, that thing is not cane sauce. It had to come with Taco Bell because that do not come with the quesadilla. Exactly. Only thing that comes with the quesadilla is the sour cream. Mm hmm. We ordered that. We are professional. Today. Yeah. We know um, what we're talking about here, okay? Exactly. So, um, oh, maybe it came with Taco Bell. I don't know. Or maybe you got it from downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm not actually. I'm not actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot what I was going to say again. It might have been for me to say it. Mm. But just know the disrespect. I love all you guys. Um. I don't. I'm so fat. Yeah. I'm looking at yeah. it like so empty now. <laughs> That's good because I didn't even I'm think we're trying to eat 12 tacos by myself on my channel. Oh, girl, that would be a good challenge. Mm -hmm. I want to see if you can do it. Oh, my God. Who can eat the most tacos? I'm going to do that with Carmen. I would do it. Yep. I would right. we'll probably eat you on your table. Yeah, they No, I'm going to go fast. No, you gotta eat I'm going to be meat. eating two tacos at the same time like this. But you know, small people. Eat the most now. Um, yeah, go oh, down a little faster. People. Cause you'll be surprised. I I was literally after I had all three of my kids, I was still like 116 pounds. Wow. <laughs> but I ate a lot. See? And I'm 246 pounds. <laughs> right now? Jesus. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> I'm like, no, seriously, I'm like one one sixty five. A oh. big solid. I'm big. She's so I'm big. <laughs> well, I'm twelve four. But you're old. <laughs> no, you're, old, you're older. I know people. Go, oh my gosh, mm. she's forty-one. She can call me. Up. I'm gonna be twenty-one, and I'm freaking the same size as you. You are not. The I think it's your height, too, though. Yeah, maybe because you're taller than you're but, taller me. Well, I was really, really tiny when I was in high school. I just oh gosh, it. she was anorexic. Yeah, I was. But I, not anorexic because she still had like curves. She had a butt. She oh, always had that butt. Yeah. yeah. When we met when we met them. She always had that butt. Like, just, just, you know, she was tiny, like arms and stomach wide, <laughs> but her butt was always there. She just got bigger after she had high school. That's how mine was. Like I was like literally a size zero, but I had a big butt. Mm. A big butt. And people, people got the nerves to ask, to ask me today that I have butt shots or something. I'll be like. See, I'm like, nowadays it's hard to see a female. But I have nothing. Body. Here's the thing I have nothing, absolutely nothing to get it. If I didn't have no butt, I would have got some. But that's true. But for the people who know me, they should already know that. That you didn't have no butt shots. Right. No, well, seriously, one of a girl who, from my past, I saw at a parade and she was like, What did you get done? And I'm like, Are you serious? I gained weight. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't get mad at the people These who don't know. They are. Right. That was good, and they kind of sticks out warm. They hot, they good, good. Oh, y'all, this Taco Bell is cold. It was good though, and it's good. It's cold and rolling. I'm still so gonna be that cold. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> me and my grandbaby about to head back to Baton Rouge. 
Cause I'm turning 21, B. She turned. I'm the last one standing. Cause Carmen already 21. I'm the youngest one. It didn't look like it's like you older than me. I know. She ain't older than everybody. Yeah. Young. I'm. She's turning 21. She's and she's legal. not inviting me to her party. Oops. I'm definitely not inviting her to my slumber party or my Saturday party just because she's just not invited. Oh, baby. Your friends don't even know how to turn up like me, boom. <laughs> I know. I'm going to my mama. Carmen. Okay. Honest opinion. If my mama was there, would you go all crazy? Has I would if- see the boy I'm seeing right now drinking my drink. Uh-huh. I feel like nobody would be shaking their butt. Uh, yeah. Nobody, nobody would want to do Cause you know, like when you drunk, she should come out at my birthday party. But no, you and your mom. You I don't even want to get up and dance in front of all those older people. Think about it. Think about it. For example, right? Think about it. If it was you and like older people your age, right? Y'all gonna turn on how y'all want to because y'all comfortable because y'all like the same age. Uh huh. Now think about it. You go to let's say a high school and uh-huh. you see nothing but pretty female. and it's like all the moms right there. You think they gonna turn on how they really want to turn up? No. No, no matter if it's fun or not, they just, they, not, they just, not I always say I would never ever go out with my daughter, but 21, that means she's completely legal, and I just, legal, she's, mm-hmm. yeah, she's legal, 21. I say you can go to the, you can come to the club late, <laughs> just late. No, don't you get it twisted, you can come early, and then leave, that's early. exactly, don't get it twisted, that's exactly what I was going to do, I'm definitely not staying at a club, I'm 41 years old, I do not stay at a club all night. But if you go to the club with all the like teenager young people, they don't think you babysitting all of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna think like you know the a mom will turn up with her daughter. Yeah, so they like, like, we we went to the club with her. When did I go to the club with you? <sighs> when you went? It was like one of the random days that they went. Yeah, this was literally it was after Thanksgiving, so. It was about two or three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And guess what? We came in there and we had us a drink and we left. And then she called me to my, why you <laughs> left? Why you left? We turned it up. Yeah, we was because that was the time. It was a turn up because we was bringing y'all to go to the club. We wasn't even planning on going to go. This is something that we plan to do. And what y'all mothers. think, mothers? Do y'all think that I should be able to go to her party Saturday? And pop lock and drop. They just scared him of showing my <laughs> Girl. Oh my god. Oh girl. They scared him of being. Oh, I don't want to get older. Because then it's like, oh, you don't get to go turn up and have fun. You can, but you just got to be different for how you're doing it now. Yeah. I could definitely turn up and have fun. I love to turn up and have fun. Hey, you can surprise no. me. Ladies, they're like, 50, 60 some years ago, go to the strip club. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Now, I'll still go to the strip club. club. But here's the thing. When you get a certain age. You get tired of it. it it's, it's no more. You start to realize that. It's more. It's best it's, stuff. It's, mm-hmm. Yes. Remember how I told you, like, the club don't excite me anymore? Yeah. It's like you go in there and you be like, why am I doing this? Why am I? Because you get wasted. You get drunk. You have fun. You wake up the next morning. You feel stupid. Um, and it's like. Fine. That's true. Just yeah, so you you begin to, and that's why I'm happy that she's getting it out of her system, because she's literally start going, She when you, did you start going out at 18? No, I didn't even go out when I was 18. I maybe started going out like 19. I started going out. I just started really going out after Casa. I think that's why I'm going so going out crazy, because when I was, before I had Casa, I didn't go out. I didn't go to no real clubs. I went to a whole bunch of parties. Yeah, teenage party. Yeah. yeah, but I ain't go to no clubs and oh, get drunk and do that. I was so happy every Saturday. She'd be like, Mama, somebody got a party. I'm like, Girl, you got a dance competition tomorrow. Or you got a practice. <laughs> <laughs> so I was able to use that as an excuse because I was like scared, even though I know that as parents, and y'all are young parents now, so y'all gonna learn this. You literally don't have control over everything, over anything. God has control. You have to have faith and you have to say, God, I want to allow you to do your job because you would drive yourself crazy trying to be in charge or trying to, you know how they say, just have faith and let God do his job. And then I'll have faith. And then as soon as my kids say, can I go somewhere? I'm like, no, and God, <laughs> yeah. I, I, what, I thought you was going to let me handle it. Yeah. Yes. You have to let God handle it. Of course, we want to be a little strict, you know, but Kaiser, Tutti, <laughs> But we, you don't want to be like feeling like you have to um, 
just be in control all the time. Yeah. Because you, you have to learn to allow God to do what. That's what my mom always tell me. And I actually, I actually learned with her that the more strict you are with your kids, like, the the more you push them to do stuff. Because mm-hmm. you know I mean? mm-hmm. that's like, my mom was very strict hey. with me. And you are already eating. Hey, Tootie. Hey, Tootie. Say hi. Hey, I miss you. He Ooh, says, hi. He wants to hungry. Oh, my God. Let me take the lettuce off for you. <laughs> yeah, like he's still sleeping, but he want to eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> look, look, look. And he know what it is. Yeah, every time I look Kaiser, I always say he's a grown baby. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, look at that head. So I'm picking it. Oh my god! Look, uh-huh. I'm just looking like what are you doing? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, Tootie. Yeah, Nick. Why you didn't wipe his face? Get a wipe and wipe his face. He's but, still sleeping. You can tell. He's like. Mm-hmm. He's trying to but fight. it's okay to be a little strict. But you know, I, like put your foot down, but don't say, okay, you could go somewhere and then stay up all night and be so scared. Because with that blow my phone up. Yeah, I used to blow, <laughs> my, phone. I used to blow my phone up. Because, like I said, we have no control um, over anything. Okay, I got a little story, then we're going to end this video. This, my son Anthony, when he made 18 years old, take the, uh, this, this part, wow, baby. Wow. The extra part? Yeah, like the extra. Um, he wanted to go to, no. oh, he wanted to move out when he was, when he graduated. I was terrified. I started crying. I was at work and this lady came up to me. Um, anyway, I was talking to a lady and I was telling her vacation. I started telling her what was going on. You know, you just be talking, be telling random people, my, my son moved out and I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I hope he did. And she was like, first of all, he's coming back. <laughs> she was like, kids think they want to grow. But second of all, you know, we have you have to realize that if he don't come back, that you did a great job as a mother. That means that he went out there and he became a man. Mm. She said, and if he does come back, which he is, and he did, she was like, um, he's going to be a way out there. He's going to be a learn that is not, bless you, baby, that is not easy, you know, being on your own. It's not, he, it's going to be life lessons. So you still, you still got something out of it. You know what I'm saying? She was right. like, you're trying to control a situation you have no control over. Right, right, you right. did your job. You have to pray and let him go and let God do it. And I was like, wow. And y'all, I sleep so good at night now. Because I'm like, you know, I have no control. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Right, anyway. right. I installed morals in my children. And I just pray that they take those into their life. And, well, you know. Yeah, I got to do. I got to say this. Everything happens for a reason. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got to let them learn on their own. Because that's what my mom always told me. And she said, she never let me learn on my own. I would never understand what she would, like, tell me or the meaning of things. Mm-hmm. So, no. It's hard when you learn your own, but you got to do it. Yeah. Like, I used to tell my mom that. She said, you are so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Because she's she talking about like, something different. No, okay. Mom, you not to let me long. learn on my own. And she no, no, no. like, that is just so stupid to me. What again? Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's a different it's a different thing. Okay, so oh, my goodness. if I walked into a room mm. and I said, Neek, it got fire in that room. Why would you walk in behind me? I told her some things I paid the price for her so she don't have to pay. Now that is not letting you learn on your own. If I say, Neek, if you come on moms, y'all come on. Let's put drop me some comments below and tell me how y'all feel about this. If I did the same exact thing when I was young. And I see you going in the same direction. And I'm telling you, Nick, if you go in that direction, this is what's about to happen. It's a dead end. Why wouldn't you say, let me listen to my mama because she actually been here before. She actually experienced this. We actually are, are literally, and sometimes I feel like we're the same person. Because we both Capricorn. She's my daughter. She... When I look at her sometimes, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's the best me. to me. <laughs> and all her friends, like, I didn't even know how Nick act, uh, like, really, really, when she wasn't around me. And all her friends would be like, oh my gosh, y'all the same person. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, it's, it's just, I sometimes I... Okay, or, y'all, our camera went, it did something. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, even if you... I'm about to choke trying to say this part. No. It got to come out though. Even if you don't 
take my advice verbatim and do it exactly the way. Put it in your pocket. Store it there for later. Think about it. When you're going down that road, don't just go head first. Be like, well, let me go slow because my mama said it's a dead end. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't just run off the cliff. Yeah. Are you right? She be like, she go ahead, she jump head first no, and run I off the not. cliff. Yeah. She do not. I could be like, Nick, I'm telling you that stove hot. It's hot. It's hot. And she be shh. Like, at least you can go slow and be like, let me just put my hand over and see if it's warm because I know my mama said it's hot. No, she <laughs> She was burning shit on herself. God bless you. Bless you, Zuri. <laughs> All right, guys. I need to go take care of my grandbaby. <laughs> Yay! And we gonna get out of here. He Thank y'all. He is. He is. He always had fun with me. I don't know why. Oh, Rich really never laughed. He got a snotty nose. Mm -hmm. Rich is it's out. coming out. It's coming out. He always had fun with me. Like, he don't like you, but he know he like me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Mm -hmm. Kaiser, can you say boom? Y'all, he loves to say boom. <laughs> 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 he said boom.